Alright, this is mass, math, uh, mass problem 4. Now what I want you guys to start doing is combining shapes together. So for example, if I had a block that looked like this, and it had a curved shape to it, what would be the mass of this one? So if we took the radius of 10 millimeters, so our length here is 20 millimeters, and this shape here was 10 millimeters, and our thickness here was, let's go 4 millimeters, how would I find the volume of this shape? So you've got, you got half a cylinder, and you got a square. So volume would equal the volume of the um, rectangle plus the volume of a um, half uh, sphere. So the volume of the rectangle would be 200, the length, millimeters, times the width, oh sorry, it's not 200, um, 20 times the width times the thickness. Okay, and our volume of our um, half circle or half sphere is equal to pi r squared h, and then you gotta divide it by 2 because it's only half of a cylinder. Okay? So that is equal to pi times the radius is 10 squared millimeters times the thickness is 4 millimeters over 2. So you got to add them two together. So our V total is equal to, let's plug this in, and let's convert to meters. So 0, 0.0. 2 meters times 0 0.01 meters times 0 0.004 meters, that's the rectangle. Plus, we need to add in the bottom part. So we get pi times 0 0.01 squared times 0 0.004. Divide that by 2. So our total volume is 0 0.02 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.004. Okay, plus, put this in a couple brackets, uh, pi times 0 0.01 squared times 0 0.004. Divide that by 2. So our volume is 0 0.00000. 1428 meters cubed. Okay? And you can multiply that by the density to find out what is the mass of that object. Alright, if you were to work on, say, a more complex shape, such as this one here, and it had two holes in the block. Okay, you would the volume of this shape is equal to the volume of a cube. Take two volume of a cylinder. Because you gotta subtract those two cylinders. Okay, if you were to make a bracket and your bracket looks something like this. Let's say you're trying to figure out the mass of this component here. 
it had a hole in the top and a hole in the bottom. Okay, you'd have to add up the volume of number one, number two, and number three, and subtract it from the holes. We'll call that number four and number five. So our volume is equal to one plus two plus three. So you have to work out each one, and then you have to subtract uh, four and five. All right. So I want you to work through these problems here, and uh, I'll give you some more to put on sector.